You guys want to play a game, or are you just going to keep shooting around? I thought you were smarter than that, Espinoza. What do you mean? We should be trying to motivate our teams right now. If you guys play us, you definitely won't leave motivated. Seems like you're setting expectations a little too high. Oh, you feel like you can't live up to them? Do you want to back out? No, not at all. Humbling people like you is one of my favorite pastimes. Yeah, yeah. Put your game where your mouth is. Let's go. Looks like we're not going to settle this on the court. I think we should up the ante. Up the ante? I don't know, Sergeant. Sounds like a gamble to me. That pun literally made me ill. Can we trade them chow and call it good? I've seen you eat in the mess hall. Chow time is your favorite. That's disgusting. I think we should keep chow so we can beat Pitts at whatever he's about to suggest. The puns will just make it more humiliating for them. You were saying? We've got organization day coming up. Let's make the drills and ceremonies part interesting. Whoever does better has to take the other team's responsibilities for a week. What do you say? We could use a week off. A week off does sound nice, but it's going to be us who has the week off. All of a sudden, I'm much more comfortable with Chow's puns. Whatever. We'll see how playful you are when you're doing our work. Chow, where's Carr? I gave him permission to go to an appointment he made, but only if he came back in time for drill practice. Yeah, he said he'd be back before you got here, but I guess he forgot. Perfect. He knew we needed to practice. Oh, hey, Sergeant. Sorry for being late. Carr, when I give you a time to be here, I expect you to be here. I know none of us want extra cleanup duty, so I need all of you to do what it takes to win this thing. Sorry. It won't happen again, Sergeant. Good. Let's get some practice done. Fall in! At ease! Specialist Chow, did I tell you to stay at attention? No, Sergeant. I... I wasn't paying attention. I'll let it go this one time, but you need to be ready when I tell you to be at ease. Is that understood? Yes, Sergeant. Good. We'll do it again. Team, attention! At ease! Okay, team. I have an appointment I need to get to, so that's all the time I have for practice now. Specialist Chow, front and center. Team, attention! Dismissed. Specialist Chow, the correct order is fallout, since we are not done practicing for today. Nice work out there, Sergeant Espinoza. Oh, thanks, Sergeant. Yeah, if you keep it up, those dirty floors are as good as yours. Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that, Pitts. I'll see you around. What did you bring us here for, Sergeant? I figured you guys could use a refresher on intervals. Let's take a look at some different types. This is close interval. Here, you put your left hand on your hip and line up with your elbow touching the side of the soldier next to you. From here, I will align you until you are all in a perfect line. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. This is normal interval. Here, you put your left arm out to the side toward the next soldier's shoulder. From here, I can also align you until you are all in a perfect line. Okay, with that done, let's head back out to the practice field.
Williams, what interval did I tell you to be in? Close interval, Sergeant. That's correct. So why are you at normal interval? It was a mistake, and it won't happen again. Make sure it doesn't. Let's do it again. Okay, let's do normal interval now. Team, attention! Dress right, dress! Chow, did I specify an interval? If I don't give you an interval for dress right dress, what interval are you in? Normal interval, Sergeant. That's correct. So why are you in double interval? It was a mistake, and it won't happen again. Make sure it doesn't. Let's do it again. Okay, everyone. We've done enough drill training for one day. Team, attention! Dismissed! Sergeant Espinoza, could I have a moment? Sure. What's going on? It's not really that important. Are you nervous about the competition? Sure, but we won't let nerves get the better of us. Are you nervous? Mostly just about aligning the squad. I know we've practiced them a lot since we first signed up for the military, but there are so many little movements that could count against us if we mess up. I was actually just reading up about those. What did you want to know? Can you explain cover and recover, as well as dress right dress? Sure. You've all done pretty well with dress right dress so far, but I'll sum it up. Dress right dress is a way for me to align the team in a line formation. So that allows you to align us. You do that by doing what again? I'll go to the right flank and then adjust you all accordingly. Thanks, Sergeant. Now, what about cover and recover? It's a way for me to align the team in a column formation. Oh, okay. So both of these allow you to make sure we are all in line. Correct. Because if everyone is in formation and aligned, it keeps us all even. It helps keep us more efficient. You know what? We need to get going so we can practice inspections, but we should probably practice aligning the team today as well. Meet me out on the practice field. Yes, Sergeant. Okay, everyone. As you know, the big day is tomorrow, so I thought we'd squeeze in a few practices before then. So let's get started. Dress right. Dress! Good job, team. Now we're going to practice cover and recover. Attention! Right face, cover! Recover! Forward, march! Column right, march! Right flank, march! Team, halt! About face! At ease! 
Team, I'm proud of the work that each of you has done in preparation for the competition. We will hold one more practice later today, but I think we'll get a week off cleaning duty with the way you all have practiced. Team, attention, fallout. Hey, Espinoza, you ready for the competition tomorrow? Did you come over here just to gloat again? Actually, no. I came to wish you luck. You think you're ready? I think so. The team has been practicing hard this week. You? Yeah, man. I know I've been hard on you, but I hope the best team wins. You too. Actually, I've got one more practice here in a few minutes. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. You too. Okay, team. Fall in! Dress right. Dress! At ease. Good job, everyone. Even if we don't lose, I'm proud of how all of you practiced this week. Maybe if we make a competition for everything, we'll always get good results from you. Team, attention, dismissed. Well, team, we did it. Now, let's make sure we use this week to get some extra rest and prepare for Operation Heavy Arms. Okay, Espinoza. You won fair and square. Sorry, team. Looks like we've got extra cleanup duty. It was a tough fight. I can't believe we pulled it off. That extra R&R &R is gonna be nice. You all earned it. Yeah, we did. But we couldn't have done it without our fearless leader, the one, the only, Sarge... Please, Chow. That's enough. Once again, Chow, the things you say sometimes make me physically ill. Review the choices you made in the scenario and see the results of your decisions.